Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here is today's question. I don't have the money to hire someone to build a website for me. I also don't have the tech skills to do it myself. Is a website absolutely necessary? Can I just do other things to market? Do you see? So first, I would like to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring Ask Allison. They are the number one rated electronic health record system available today with live telephone support seven days a week. It's clear why Therapy Notes is rated 4.9 out of five stars on Trustpilot and has a five-star rating on Google. Therapy Notes makes billing, scheduling, note-taking, and telehealth incredibly easy. And for all you prescribers out there, yes, they offer e-prescribe. If you're coming from another EHR, Therapy Notes makes the transition incredibly easy, importing your demographic data free of charge so you can get going right away. Find out what more than 100,000 mental health professionals already know. Use promo code ABUNDANT at therapynotes.com for two free months. So the question, do I have to have a website? Whew, the concept of a website sounds great, but if you're not super comfortable with technology, it can be really daunting. I've had students who have written amazing website copy, which are the words on your website, uh, the kind that makes you want to schedule with them immediately. And it just sits there in a Google Doc, unread by potential clients, because the website is, it feels so hard and it feels so unknown. I've also had students not write copy simply because they knew that the next step was a, a website. So truth number one, you do not have to have a website to fill your caseload. Not what you expected me to say. As long as you don't mind building very, very slowly, much, 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 much slower than if you had one. If you have all the time in the world and it's more of a hobby practice for you, then yes, absolutely, you can bypass the website. Let's look at it through a client's eyes. Client gets three referrals from a referral source. Clients one and two have a website, client, or sorry, clinicians one and two have a website, clinician three doesn't. Client checks out clinician one and two's website, gets a feel for them, and clinician three is just a name on a page with a phone number. Unless that referral source really sold clinician three, it's likely that the client will go with clinician one or two. So you are reliant on referral sources who likely have to give three referrals ethically anyway to say, here are three referrals, but I think you'd be a best fit for clinician three. She doesn't have a website, but I promise she's really amazing. I don't know if she takes your insurance or what her fees are or if she has availability. So you have to call and ask. And you need that to happen at least 40 times if you want around 20 clients, since not all of them are going to stick. Some of them aren't ever going to call. Um, and some of them are going to opt for the folks with websites because they hate the phone. When my daughter needed a therapist, you can bet that even with a referral from a therapist friend whose kids saw her, I read everything I could about my options in the absence of reviews, which y'all know not to ask your clients for testimonials, right? Um, I'd listen to friends' recommendations, and I'd be trolling the website of every child therapist I could find. If you weren't online, I wasn't choosing you. I want to vet someone online before I call them up and ask my questions or schedule an appointment. Truth number two, building a website yourself may be frustrating. You may not be able to do some of the things that you envision. You um, will feel like there's, you know, not... It's not behaving the way you want it to. Um, this is usually my problem with, with any sort of technology. It's just not behaving itself. Um, you might feel like there's too much or not enough freedom, depending on the, the building platform you choose. Even if you have a copy and your pictures and quotes already picked out, plugging them in might piss you off because it doesn't fit the way you want it to. The DIY sites have gotten so much better over the years, and I endorse Squarespace over all the others for a number of reasons but one of which is it's best for SEO. So if you want to be on Google, it's better than all of the other ones um, that are just kind of plug and play. If you, are, if you were feeling like technology is stressful and you're not sure you can do it, stay away from WordPress. Like that's just more coding. It's more technical. Um, just go for Squarespace. It's way easier than the rest. Truth number three, Paying someone else to build a website will also be frustrating. You will have deadlines from your web designer or developer that may feel unreasonable to you. You will make deadlines for your web, web, web designer or developer that might not get met. You won't know how to put into words what you're looking for and your inability to draw beyond a stick figure is gonna make it difficult for you to like show them what you're looking for. You might hate their initial design and not know how to say that, especially if it's a friend or a family member helping you out. Um, and you may think a little tweak looks easy, but it may require hours of recoding for them. Truth number four, being in business means stretching yourself, being uncomfortable and figuring it out. It means being a stronger person than you were last month, every single month. It means taking these kinds of challenges and meeting them head on. 
um, you're going to have new and different challenges all the time. It's just like parenting. Once you just figure out how to deal with one struggle, a new one is going to sprout up, but don't let that stop you. You just keep learning. It's not, it's not hard. It's just frustrating. And it's exactly what we're encouraging our clients to do in therapy, right? We don't say, I'm really sorry setting boundaries with your mom is so hard. Maybe you should just give up. We find ends to make it doable. We teach skills. We work through blocks. We scaffold. You can do the same for yourself. Truth number five, many of the therapists who have been in practice for 30 years don't have websites. That is true, but they've had 30 years to make a name for themselves, to turn out clients who refer to them, who turn out clients to refer to them, and 30 years of referral sources seeing how awesome they are. It is a different world for clinicians coming into private practice now, and we have to do things differently. So maybe you're saying, well, I don't have a website yet and I'm getting referrals. That's fantastic. How many more would you be getting if you had a website? So yes, you need a website without a doubt if you are needing clients right now. One of my very favorite quotes is by LinkedIn founder, Reid Hoffman. He says, if you're not embarrassed by the first version of your product, you launched too late. It's okay for it to be ugly until you either have the funds or the skills to make it look the way you want it to look. Have great copy. That's where I really want you to put time and energy into. Um, and clients will come. My original abundance website was so bad. It was so awful. I used one of the template website companies, um, not Squarespace, but one that like you could really clutter it easily because it wasn't quite so stuck in the way that that Squarespace forces the aesthetic to look good. Um, I am very aesthetically uh, inspired as a person, but you would never know it from that website. But because my copy was good, even though my site was imperfect, I still got consulting clients. And now that both my site and my copy are on point, I get even more consulting clients and I don't have any website shame, which is actually a thing. Um, my therapy website, it's on Squarespace. It's been chugging along with little to no upkeep for a decade. Your website is just one prong of any successful marketing strategy. It's just one of them. And today's free worksheet lays out one, a few of the more popular, most effective ways to get clients. Never more than five strategies that tends to backfire. I like a website is one. I like networking is another. And then you've got three to play with. Um, so that free, that free website, you can just free website, free worksheet. You can just send the word sheets to me and I will send it to you. Um, and that way you'll have access to actually all of our free worksheets if you do that. And I'm also always happy to help you get clients in the door. If you want help with that, you can send me a message. Just use the word help. All right. Have a great day.